Hey guys, sorry for the late video, but we're here, my last scent bird, the December scents, and then I'll do a roundup in January for you guys. So the three scents I picked this month were Room 1015 Yesterday, which is a fragrance inspired by a picture of the Beatles hanging out in a hotel room bathroom, shaving and having fun. When I saw this pick, I immediately tried to imagine what would be the smell inside the bathroom? Vetiver, lavender, perhaps santal. A tribute to the unique spirit that musicians have, being kids and grown-ups at the same time. Dr. Mike, room 1015 founder. Geranium, lavender, cardamom, and apple. The second fragrance is Deck of Scarlet Power Suit. Ignite your inner fire and make every suit a power suit with this mix of attention-grabbing notes. Juicy fruits like pear and fig mingle with cardamom, invoking a sweet, mm, invoking a spicy sweet vibe. Jasmine, orange flower, and orris create an elegant floral twist, while sandalwood, coconut, and musk keep the lively elements grounded. After all, you're confident, but not cocky. I don't like the smell of coconut. We'll see. Not only this cardamom, jasmine, orange flower, and creamy sandalwood and skin musk. I've never seen musk or in a skin musk. That is interesting. We'll see. And then commodities rain. This refreshing and aquatic fragrance is like a cleansing walk in the rain, offering a clean slate in life. Its soothing scent combines delicate water musk with a floral symphony of lotus blossom, lemon, verbena, and jasmine. Do a green accord, freesia, lotus blossom, jasmine, and white amber. Which one do you think will be your favorite? I wonder. I can't. Anyway, dookie dookie yesterday. Oh. Please don't get on my hand. I think I spurt some on my finger. nice. It seems like I'm having more luck in the cologne area. Than... Hmm. That's really nice. That cools down very well. Hmm. I consider buying this. I like it. it's in it's in the realm of like Scent, standard scent of cologne. Not overpowering. I could wear this to like a whiskey room or something. Like business casual date or like a meeting. Yeah, you could wear this to a meeting. Yeah, that's nice. That coconut really comes through in the power suit. Like it's not, it's not bad. It smells like something I've smelled before, which is not bad, but you definitely get the coconut. Um, I, mean, I think I mentioned in another video, I don't like coconut, but I also have an intolerance for it. So it's like, mm. fuck, I can smell like, ah, ha, ha. Thing I almost shot into my window. I'm not gonna put that up my nose again. Like it's not, it's not bad. It's coconut. It's just so strong. Oh, let's go with rain to cleanse our noses. Why on my hand? It smells like that, um, mm. 
spraying it out in the air, it smells like it's a, it's another Bath and Body Works scent. Um, it's oh that gel. I think it was melon. Some it's not cucumber melon, but wait, no, yes, it is cucumber melon. Yeah, spraying it out in the air, it smells like cucumber melon. But here, it smells more. It's definitely a melon. It's it's similar to cucumber melon, but I like it. I think that's that dewy green accord. This is nice. Oh, I did good on my last one. You know, I'm kind of annoyed that I picked Parasite. Parasite was one of the ones that like, um, it was one of the advertised ones, but I didn't see the coconut in the description when I was looking at it. Otherwise I would have got something else for my last month. But the first two were pretty good picks. So clearly, Power Suit is at the end for me. If you like coconut, that's good for you. I just, no. Oh, ho, ho. nice and clean or classy bar. I kind of like the squeaky clean because it makes me think of taking a bubble bath. Yeah, I'm going to go with rain than yesterday and, and then power suit. I keep squeaking on my acrylic chair, I'm sorry. nice I'll look into those two but yeah that's really it for today really short and to the point wow I feel like the other ones I kind of probably talked unnecessarily or maybe I was just a bit more descriptive I don't remember anyways there's still be a little bit more fragrance coming in the future um I'll probably space it out a little bit more just so there's it's not like all month of fragrance since I only do one video. Um, but I enjoy doing the fragrances because it's not like, I don't, like off camera I get done up, but then like I come to film and I'm just like, eh. So like I kind of want to make an effort to show you guys when I'm done up, but like I also kind of don't. <laughs> so we'll see. Maybe you'll get some of that. It's a new year coming. Happy holidays. I hope you enjoyed. Um, let me know, although I don't know if you were like keeping track of the scents, because I will do the roundup. It'll probably be in the end of January, because I haven't like exclusively just been doing these scents. There are a few that I just already know that like I'm not uh no, but I'll do a roundup probably end of January for all of them so I can you know put them on the skin for a little bit so I hope you enjoyed that thank you for watching see you next Tuesday around five generally it's around five two days late sorry forgive me but I did watch the matrix I did post a small little snippet review because I didn't want to spoil it if I spoiled it I wouldn't give like a full on full review. Um, but like it's good. I, I don't recommend watching them all in a row if you do watch this one first, but you know, there's that. And I, uh, I finally updated, you know, I updated my, um, recovery post I originally had on my blog before I redid my blog. And so now it's condensed into one post. That was hard to write. <laughs> I'm so happy to have my leg back, but still. Ugh. Anyway, I'm rambling now. Bye.